Hello, so I am in Velvet Sundown, which is a social MMO with a bit of a difference in that you are put into scenarios where you're given a character to play and there's no NPCs because everyone is played by a person. And as you can see here on the, um, the screen bit, the right hand side of the screen, well done me, um, I can't remember what I was going to say because I got so confused about uh, what I was going to say. Never mind, we'll jump in. I've done the tutorial, so I don't really know what's happening. You don't choose a character, I don't think. We'll find out. It's all exciting. It's all new, it's fresh, it's, it's thrilling. I don't know that I will record the whole scenario because it's supposed to take 30 to 35 minutes. Um, I will play the whole scenario because I don't want to be one of those people who nicks off in the middle of a thing that other people are doing. You know what I'm talking about. You know who you are. So eventually this will load and we can jump in. It'll be exciting, it'll be thrilling, it'll be fun. Uh, as you saw this premium content and um, that's me presumably. I am Boyle O'Malley. You tend the bar on the Velvet Sundown where your sympathetic Irish looks earn you all kinds of secrets. You are very good at your work, but while you enjoy it well enough, you have ambitious dreams. One day the drinks will be poured for you as you lie under a palm tree. You're on board the Velvet... I'm just skipping. A luxury yacht cruising on the beautiful something or other archipelago. Don't know how to say that. You've already been introduced to all the other passengers and you know them by name. Strong spirits make tight lips loose. So everyone's got a secret apparently in this game. You've been a high class, but as a result, you know how to people. Once you once again do your duty and offer some drinks to people and listen to their stories. You never know when a new intriguing secret is about to be revealed. So this is this is me. I am basically an NPC at this point. So here's Linda. Alex's father is a busy and ruthless ruthless as a boy. Alex Alex wanted to learn to kill game. After long hours of waiting, they finally spotted the elk that their hunting dog Alexander had been chasing when Alexander was taking aim. His father would do not miss you, only get one chance. He took the shot. The elk had taken a... Oh. He killed his dog. That's very sad. I'm just going to keep standing here because vodka shot, a shot glass filled with vodka. Can I um, serve drinks? Here we go. Listen to their stories. Okay, well, I'm just going to stand here. I've still got 33 minutes to go on this. Everyone else appears to be having um, conversations with each other, so I'm just going to stand here. I'm, I'm just going to stand here for a bit. can't seem to interact with anything except for I've got this vodka shot here. Presumably I can give that to somebody. I'm not a big fan of the camera wobble when I move, gotta say. Maybe it's because this is set on a yacht and you're supposed to feel slightly seasick. I can stand here all day, I'm fine. Everyone else is having secrets and everything, but I'm alright. I'll, I'll just stand here. Can I pour any other drinks? I should stop spinning around because that's just upsetting for me and for you watching. Nope. Right. So, you know those NPCs in, like, games where you go and you sell your armour and stuff? That's, that's me right now. I'm basically waiting for the for the interesting players to want a drink. Oh, here, look, here comes somebody. Here comes somebody. What do you want? Do you want a drink? I've got drinks.
I'm having another thought. You have a strong feeling that Alex is trying to flirt with you. You're intrigued to see what he can come up with to impress you. If he says something that makes you feel good, you should show it to him by smiling and flirting back. On the other hand, if his pickup line seems sleazy to you, okay. Wow. There's some stuff I'm going to have to... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to do some pixelating of this particular conversation. <laughs> Okay. I'm just going to say not now. That's uh, okay. Oops. Never mind. Can I hand one to Linda? So I'm going to give Linda a drink here because, um, oh, Linda rejected me. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm just, I'm internally killing myself laughing at the conversation here because, um, it's, <laughs> it's just, it was so unexpected, you know, <laughs> can't even tell you what it was about, but it was, it was hilarious. So that's that then. Uh, my job here is done. I'm just going to stand here and twitch slightly. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Straight face. Straight face. Serious. Look, here's somebody who wants a drink. This is Ingmar. He looks like Eddie Izzard. See how well I'm doing at this? Wow, my hair looks weird. He's still thinking about it. I'm going to recommend the vodka because it's all I have. I can't spell, but that's alright because nobody else can. <laughs> hmm, he's thinking about that further. Give me one on the rocks. There you go. You're having a vodka shot. And I'm going to give that to Ingmar. Say thank you, Ingmar. Who's that 12 year old? What is going on? Yeah, alright. Okay. I don't know what's happening. So that's Alex there, and he's giving me a drink, and I'm holding up my hand and pretending I have a glass because this is the internet and um, that's what we do on the internet everyone's supposed to have a secret but I, I, nobody seems to be really getting into the whole secrets thing so I'm just going to ooh they're discussing something about Ingmar I can't even listen. This is terrible. Ingmar told you a story. You listen. I will listen. Rumor has it that drug dealers have started using special casino trips in tri chips <laughs> in their shady transactions. If someone gives this type of a special chip to the dealer they identified as a trusted customer and given their dose, this practice sounds like something that is hard to detect by bureaucracy. If you would have your own nightclub, maybe you could use a special thing like this for selling drinks and thus get some flavour for your place. So basically it's, do you want to be a drug dealer? Uh, interested. Um, I always like to know who to trust. That sounded very enigmatic. I wish all these people would get out of my bar. I feel crowded. I feel crowded and uncomfortable with all these people in my bar. 
probably why I'm not a bartender in real life. Yep. Stop staring at me, Ingmar. You're making me uncomfortable. Oh, stop staring at me. I don't want to be stared at anymore. Mary would like to. I'm going to chat with Mary because she's a little bit less starey. No offence to you. <laughs> I'm going to flirt with Mary because I can. Good evening. I'm very polite. I'm Irish. Oh, everyone wants to chat with me. I just want to give people vodka. Ah! <laughs> Oh, this is very, very um, in your face. Oh, Linda, you know, you've got spelling issues, darling. And I just think whoever's behind you needs to maybe play something else. There we go. There we go. There's another blur out for you. <laughs> so I'm really glad I looked up that tutorial on how to blur out stuff in these videos because... Um, Because, uh, oh, I see. Yeah, I'm going to hazard a guess and say that both Linda and Mary are being played by men. And anyone who's ever played anything um, like, say, Second Life or World of Warcraft will know exactly what I mean right now. So I really, uh, yeah... I, I just I wasn't expecting this. See, naively, I thought, this is cool. We're going to have a story about intrigue. And um, I'm going to listen to Mary now because she's staring at me. Um, you know, everyone's got these secrets and stuff. And, you know, we'd all be... Oh, how long have I been on the internet when I thought that was going to work? I'm going to tell a story. No, I'm not. What is the swimming contest? Recent traditional swimming competition of Balbonia that was counted as a flock of whales appeared on the swimming route. After the incident, there have been a lot of animal activists in Balbona. No one really knows why the whales have been getting closer and closer to shallow waters. Maybe there is something special happening in deeper sea areas. Ooh. I'll give Linda a sh vodka. She looks like she needs one. She, I mean, she can't figure out where her sunglasses go, but apart from that, she's all right. Now I'm going to hand a vodka shot to Mary. Is she going to take it, or will she be quite contrary? Oh. There we go, she took it. You know what? I'm just going to I'm going to have a wander around. I'm going to see the ship. Linda told Mary she doesn't like it. She oh yeah, don't read that out. I'm going to go for a walk and possibly not have to blur anything else out. I'm on my break, ladies. You can just deal yourselves some booze. You can't keep me locked up. It's against my union rights. Oh, this is one of the bedrooms. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Can I rummage around in people's stuff? That would be fun. Staff. I'm staff. What's in my locker? My head, apparently. I am staff. I wish to open the locker. Open. Nope. Oh no, she followed me. I run away from you. Oops. Linda would like to chat. Do apologise, Linda. Alright, fine. Be that way. So we'll try chatting with Linda here. There goes my phone. Uh, what would you like to say, Linda? Don't make me blur it out, woman. Oh, there'll be trouble. Oh, there we go. You've got nothing I want. Uh, 
I may have the Irish charm, but you can't figure out where to put your sunglasses. Yep. A psychedelic yet addictive type of dangerous drug that is spreading like a plague across the Balboanian area. I can't say it. Mostly used, mostly used by rich people because of its high price. There's also a cheaper street version of the drug available that has been extended with some chemicals that make the drug even more addictive. Very uh, something... That one is better not to use. Alright. Wow, why are you all following me around? I didn't even bring booze. Yeah, okay, I'll chat with everybody. Oh, I'm ganged up on. Shall I tell them? Story about Alex's father. Imager uses a taser on Boyle, making him collapse briefly. Oh, you guys have ganged up on me. That is very unfair. I'm alright now, though. I'm telling, I'm telling Ingmar about my dad. I'm not sure about my dad because I didn't read it properly. But, you know, there you have that. We're all just going to stand around with Eddie, is it? Alex tells you he arranges a big party and wants you to join the fun. He's sharing vodka and has instructed the bartender. Oh, I am the bartender. Okay. I'm going to go and deal some drinks. Special vodka shot. Yeah, here I go up to the bar to hand out special vodka shots to complete strangers. That's what I do with my time. Here I go. You know, there's not that many people on the boat, considering it's a, you know, quite a big boat. So I'm standing here with my special vodka shots. I wonder if people are going to, you know, be poisoned horribly. I'm just going to stand here and twitch while I wait for them to come and uh, drink their vodka. Right. Right. So, special vodka so shot special for you, vodka Mary. Shot for you, Mary. What's that? A large intimidating What's that? A large intimidating vodka and spice. Vodka and spices. Special vodka Have shot, Mary. Special you vodka look like shot, you Mary. One. You look like you need one. I'm going to tell her the story about drugs. Oh no, she's gone. Bye, I was going to tell you something amazing. Bye. So I'm going to go over here and give these people some special vodka shots, because I've got them all in my pocket. Oh, camera, 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 camera. Special vodka shot for you. Special vodka shot for you. Oh, he doesn't look like Eddie Izzard now that I've seen him close up. Yeah. I'll listen about drug money laundering. There's been a lot of rumours about big company, export, bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. The actual details are just a bundle of speculation. Anyway, if the rumour is to be believed, then the biggest trading company in Balbonia is involved in some pretty nasty stuff. Okay. Everyone's thinking about stuff. Can I give you a special vodka shot? I'll give you a special vodka shot. Everyone's telling me stuff. I don't have time to tell them my stuff, so my secret's going to a watery grave with me. I'm assuming the ship sinks at the end. This isn't Titanic. I listened to what Alex told me. What did he tell me? Special vodka shot for you. I'm not having any though because I think it's terrible. I think it might be terrible. I think it might be toxic. This guy over here looks about 14. How did he get on the yacht? This is going over limit now, my, my 20 minute limit. Except it probably isn't because I was going to edit some stuff out. Just ignore me. I'm just going to blather on while we wait for something to happen. Again, I feel crowded. I feel crowded and uncomfortable. Oh, and I'm blurring that out. Okay. <laughs> so much blurry. So we're just going to stand around and stare at each other. I'm going to give everyone more vodka. 
I gave Linda another shot of vodka. Alex can have a vodka. Ingmar can have a vodka. Uh, oh, I can't move the camera. So I can't give the other girl one. So there's... Um, oops, I've pressed S. I'm going to tell... stories about things to people. I really don't know what's going on. Um, basically, basically the situation at this point is I don't know what's going on. Which is not unusual, really, for me. <laughs> he does look about 14. I don't know why I'm telling people. Oh, that's Alex. Who am I? I'm Boyle. Okay, I got it. Okay, Linda left the conversation. I might do likewise because um, I want to go and stand behind my bar where there's no people. I'm going over here. I shall be a lonely barman. Actually, what's out here? I'm having a look. The story's going nowhere. I'm going to go and have a look out here. Oh, this is nice. No jump. Never mind. Oh, look at that. Graphically, it's very lovely. It's a lovely thing, graphically. I'm going down here now. I don't know why I'm telling you that I'm going down here, because you can see that. That's a nice sunset. I like it. That's a bit like a selfie on Instagram. Look at this sunset. It's got my big head in the way. Here I am. Hooray! Okay. <laughs> I'll go back up here now. They're all still telling each other secrets. I don't think I have any secrets anymore. If I did have secrets, I can't remember what they were. I'm just having a look around the um, the yacht now. This game isn't coming off very well in this particular video, is it? I don't mean to be negative, but it's um, it's a bit lost. It's a bit lost. So I'm gonna go over here. Oh, the yacht's not that big. You know, I've got one that's bigger than this. Go over here. I wonder if I can swim to one of the islands with my vodka. It's, uh... I'm on uh, medium graphics. I'm filling in time. Can you possibly tell? I'm filling in time because um, I don't know what's going on. What's in here? Oh, that's the bar again. All right, let's go downstairs and have a look. See if they will follow me again, weirdos. Can I go in there? I want to see what's in the staff cupboard. Who are you? Who's that? Oh, that's um, that's Thingy from big earlier. So, five people on this boat, one bedroom. Seems like a bad plan. That's a wall. Going over here. Ten minutes to go until the end of the story. I am staff. I should be able to open that. I am a staff member of the staff. No. No, but I can put my arm in it. So there's that. Right. I'm going to wander around. I'm going to do an edit now, and I will de-edit when something happens. Right, so I've just given Mary a thing. And now I'm going to tell her about the angel wing drug. Alex is trying to flirt with Ingmar, but that's not going very well. Mary listens to my story about the angel wing drug. Somebody's on a turntable just there, Ingmar. Ingmar's on a turntable. Everyone's on a turntable. Oh, this is how we dance. Mary told Ingmar something. 
Alex showed a photo of Mary to Linda. You know, I'm a simple barman. I just, I just, I just, I just want to be a barman. Actually, I don't really want to be a barman. I want to be a lumberjack. So now we're all just going to look at each other. Mary told Alex something. Why do I keep getting an S in my text box? Oh, Mary and Alex seem to be getting along well, so well that there's likely to be more than just friendship going on. I'll listen to Ingmar. Okay, there's quite a lot happening over here. Oh, that's Alex. Oh, that wasn't me that killed the thingy. That, the, I say thingy, I mean dog. Oh, so I know quite a bit about Ingmar. So, if I tell you... Oh, there's stun guns and everything. Um, well, I can't tell you anything, so I'm giving you a vodka shot. That's all I do. I just hand around vodka to people. And then I can't... How do I... Uh, and more blurrings. Okay, I'm leaving that conversation so that I'm not looking at my ear. I, no, I don't want an empty vodka bottle. Oh, there we go. Some more blurring. Uh, <laughs> you know what, I might just, if you're watching this and the whole thing... Alright, Linda's taking a photo of me. Um, if you're watching this and the whole thing underneath is blurry, it's because I just got tired of picking out the bits that needed blurring. I would say if you are of a sensitive nature and don't wish to be involved in certain conversations, I'll take the American Express black card. Thanks. Do you want a vodka shot? You can have it. There you go. Um... I would say this is probably not the game for you because, of course, there's 14-year-olds. So we're basically just standing here. Okay. They're telling me stuff, but it's not coming up. Everyone's got... Um, I don't want an empty... Oh, all right. Thanks very much for the empty vodka bottle. It's just what I always wanted. Um, can't remember what I was saying now. We're all just going to stand here and stare at each other for the next six minutes by the looks of it. So what I'm going to do is I'll edit out the next six minutes. And then I will show you what happens at the end. It's exciting, isn't it? Okay, so this is the debrief room where you can talk about what happened and what you learned and who was the thingy. And I was right about... Linda being played by a man, and that's why there's another blurred thing there, because of the thing. I'm not going to... Yeah, there we go. I'm not going to bother. <laughs> so, that's Velvet Sundown. Um, presumably the premium uh, content is less troublesome. I have no idea what any of the stories were, and... Um, yeah, so there's that. I think it's theoretically quite a good game. The the um, the concept is very good, but unfortunately the the um, the amount of blurring I've had to do. <laughs> so that's that, and I will see you next week. Oh, I just man, if you had seen the things that I have seen. <laughs>